Traditionally, it sets the tone of the show. It's sort of a billboard saying, here's who we are, what we are doing, and how we will do it. A perfect example is Oklahoma, with its curtain rising on the lovely, gentle number, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Well, Marlowe, which is supposed to be about the Elizabethan writer Christopher Marlowe, opens with this number. The cast in red tights singing, quote, they didn't have toilets in 1593. Hey, nani nani, life back then was not very funny. End quote. Well, that set the tone of the show, all right. Performers and seven-piece band blaringly over mic'd a cheap, ugly set, dull music, and tasteless lyrics written by a ninny incapable of rhyming the word nani. And it went downhill from there. Cartoon characters, more toilet jokes, and a mindless plot centering on a love triangle among Marlowe, Shakespeare, and a young woman. Shakespeare, depicted here as a rather shy dullard, has difficulty writing his first play, and he says, quote, I should have stuck with sonnets, end quote. Lenny Del Luca Jr. plays the bard, Patrick Jude is Marlowe, and Lisa Mordenti is the female interest. There is a chance that Marlowe improved after the 90-minute first act, but I did not stick around to find out. Based on Act 1, I can say this in favor of Marlowe, the new Broadway season cannot possibly get any worse. This is Stuart Klein.